Okay, so we're back here in the BIOS 1300 lab, and today we're going to be looking at the uh, skin model. Um, so just a quick introduction to the model. Here at the top, we can see the epidermis. We have the dermis in this region, and down here we have the hypodermis. Okay, okay so starting back at the top, these first three layers, these are going to be the stratum corneum. This layer here is going to be the stratum lucidum. Here we have the stratum granulosum. Here we have the stratum spinosum. And this dark blue layer is going to be the stratum basale. Uh, you'll also see here, coming from the dermis, are these dermal papillae. And they fit in between this layer and these ridges here, the structure is called uh, epidermal ridges, and they kind of are opposite of these dermal papillae. So moving to the dermis, we can start with um, the sebaceous glands. So we have a sebaceous gland here, here, and this right here. So those are going to be around the hair follicles, and the muscle that is going to erect these hair follicles uh, when you get goosebumps, it's called the erector pili muscle. Also, to split the dermis into its regions, to make it simple, we're just going to go this top half is going to be the papillary region of the dermis, and down here is going to be the reticular layer of the dermis, the bottom half. Also going through here, we can see two different types of sweat glands. We're just going to look at them as sweat glands. We have the green, the white. We also have a sweat gland here. We can also see the vasculature of this region. The blue is going to be the veins. The red is going to be the um, carrying the oxygenated blood, the little arteries. And then we also have the nerve as the yellow structure. Now there's also very important receptors in this region. So starting at the bottom, right here, these are Pisidian's corpuscles. So these are going to pick up deep pressure and vibration. And then moving up to the upper part of the dermis, we have these red circles with the, the yellow nerve inside of them. These are going to be uh, Meissner's corpuscles. These are gonna be picking up a light touch. And then right here, this is going to be Merkel's disc. It's different because it has these bulbs on the end compared to this structure right here, which doesn't have the bulbs. And this is a free nerve ending. So the free nerve ending is going to pick up pain and temperature, while Merkel's disc and Meissner's corpuscle is going to pick up light touch. Also down in the hypodermis region, we have this yellow adipose tissue. I think that's it.